Hi students, in this exercise we will learn how to create surface from land XML file and we will learn how to import land XML file in civil 3D. You know, uh, often times the engineering and survey tasks for a land development project are performed by separate companies. So if you are tasked with the engineering design and are receiving a drawing file DWG representing the existing site with contours from another firm you should ask for a land XML export of the existing surface. It is much more precise than using the contours to build your existing surface. It will also save the time as compared with building the surface from scratch with points and break lines. So in this exercise uh, you need to create a new drawing using AutoCAD Civil 3D Imperial or Metric. So switch to the when you will open any new drawing then uh, just one minute. When you will open your new drawing then switch to the setting tab of the tool space here and right click to the drawing name and go to the edit drawing setting. The drawing setting dialog box appear. Imperial user uh, should set the zone category to USA as we have metric. So we will go like a metric user. So we can select our zone as a USA. Here you can see on the units and zone tab, you will find USA north Kilo carolina it just was this exercise as an example you can select as per your own uh, zone if you are working in saudi arabia united arab emirates or anything so i need to select usa north carolina here we have not so then set the coordinate system to NAD 83 NAD 83 here we have feet here we have meters so we are working in meters so we will select the meters Okay, so then you can click OK. Now your units and zones has been fixed. From the insert tab here, import parcel, import spanner, you can select land XML. It will open land XML dialog box and this file. 404 surface from file I will put in the description you can download from there and use in this exercise when you will click open it will show you something like this in the import land XML dialog box expand the surfaces collection okay you can see here we have one surface now notice the check boxes against these surfaces and everything a land XML files can contain many forms of design data such as alignment profile parcel points and pipe network as well as surfaces if you receive a file with multiple forms of design data here in this whole dialog in is where you would uncheck what you do not want to import into immediate drawing it is not possible to uncheck unit project name and application description but these lines are in there for information and informational purposes only giving a history of the file originating units originating drawings name originating application in this example the originating application was civil 3d Okay, so 
sometime from max it is a policy of not sharing their project data so in this case the existing surface here we have when performing file exchange this is so they can retain uh, ownership of the model and keep their styles in house we will discuss them in later in another chapter so click edit land xml setting here and then land xml setting dialog box will appear expand the surface import setting here if it is not expanded you can click on the plus and you will see many options here and then here leave surface data as full import create snapshot should be on create surface data in create source data in drawing i will take it off so it will remain out of our drawing so we can work smoothly in our drawing then click ok and again click ok to close the land xml dialog box after the surface imports civil 3d will assume your extent <coughs> sorry in prospector expand the surface here existing surface from land xml and definition here we have definition if you will click on the definition you can notice in the list here you can notice in the list view that no data is being used in the surface definition the definition of this surface is coming directly from the land xml file is a matter of fact if this land xml file were removed or deleted the surface definition would be lost if it were not for the automatic creation of a snapshot so right click the existing surface from the land xml here and select surface properties on the definition tab of the surface property is here notice that the data operation list it is our data operation list on the bottom of, of the uh, sorry here we have data operation types and list here we have so you can notice the first item on the list is import xml file notice the brown uh, the browse button uh, next to the path of the file this button can be used to redefine the path to land xml file if the location must change or the file gets renamed so the next line contains the create snapshot operation which reserve uh, which preserve the surface definition in case the xml file is lost if a new xml file is sent to you containing an updated surface definition you would need to delete and then recreate the snapshot based on the new definition now just click ok and close the surface property dialog box so in this exercise you learn how can we import our land xml files and how and how much is it is important to know about the land xml files useful to collect data from the companies stay connected for the more exercises